Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and it's going crazy yet again. It's another bundle from Humble Bundle, just like what I showed the other day from the Unity Asset Store, which you could get 23 assets for $1 each. This is almost the same value on Humble Bundle, whether that's character movement, creating animations, dialogue systems, physics systems for an entire racing games, survival systems, lighting, projectiles, and landscape building tools. And I will go through all of the items in here, which you can check them out, and I'll put all the links below, so you never miss out on a single saving that you can make. And do be sure to also check out my Patreon too, to get over 205 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And check out my game Left Alone that I released back in 2016, and I'm doing a big update for 2024, so you can follow the development on Steam, or you can follow me on Twitter too, because I'll be keeping everybody updated. So when you navigate to the Humble page, you've got three bundles, the four item bundle, the 15 and the 30 item bundle. It's around 28 pounds for all 30 or around 34, 35 dollars, which makes it around $1.20 or below for all of these assets. So I'll take you through these and see if you're interested in any of the selections. So the first one in this bundle is something called Survival Engine, which is a full template across built-in and URP to make your own survival game and then this includes inventory crafting equipment character controllers eating and drinking storage box full systems for temperature cold and everything you can imagine from a survival game next one we've got tail animator so this is great if you want to animate capes plants tentacles arms or whole body systems and it allows you to procedurally animate those with loads of realism and capability Next one is the High Road Engine, and it's a way to create arcade racing games with a full system included. This comes with four games, six racetracks, 12 vehicles, aerial and third person cameras with AI bots, and includes inclusion for multiplayer. Next one is something called Mesh Slicer, which allows you to do mesh cuts with all different collider types across mobile, VR, and other things, so it's highly optimized for every single platform. Next one we have Smart Library Asset Manager, which allows you to boost your project's organization by adding a library window, which allows you to organize assets in collections so that you can find them more easily when you want to say group assets by rules, definitions, smart collections, or other extendable features that you really want. Next one is Lens Flares for URP and HDRP, which is a bunch of different styles, whether it's sci-fi, clear skies, sunsets, with a loads of flares for different types of light sources too. Next one is the easy feedback form, which streamlines bug reporting and player feedback directly inside Unity, so you never need to leave it. So you can submit screenshots, full words, will submit system information automatically if that's enabled, and it works across all platforms, including consoles. Next one is the AI assistant. This adds integration for ChatGPT for the, all the different versions of that and the dolly system so you can have your own assistant to generate scripts to look at your scripts and give you actual ideas to do image creation and create seamless textures next one is the converser dialogue system which has a full visual editor to create messages choices booleans conditionals bookmarks loops events and so much more next one is the procedural lightning which is suitable across all pipelines it's got heavily optimized code and shaders to create lightning in just one click. We've got UI gradient, which can be procedural and animated with two color types, great performance and suitable across a mobile and VR too. We've got Unode visual scripting, which allows somebody as a designer or an artist to do gameplay mechanics, interactive options without ever touching a line of code and have lots of state machines and flow graphs if you find that more comfortable. We have Pegasus, which is a path-based driver and animation controller across all pipelines and it allows you to easily create cutscenes and fly throughs and control the camera for different vehicles animals animate characters to follow along paths and control the speed and loads of parameters of everything that you need next one is the landscape builder which helps you create procedural animations across all pipelines it does everything procedurally from texturing the environment to the trees to adding grass to doing object placement we've got the unique projectiles of volume one which is 30 stylized projectiles for hits, muzzle flashes, and it's got loads of demo scenes and are supported across all platforms. AnyPath, which is pathfinding for Unity, which is based on A-star pathfinding. This does use a Unity's job system and burst compiler and has everything for an intermediate or advanced programmer 
to create their refined AI with incredible performance. We've got one called Smart Game Objects, which is a real-time visual scripting tool to build procedural animations and interactive capabilities across all pipelines. So it includes a physics toolkit, procedural animations for rotating, scaling, translating. You can manage entities. You've got a full real-time visual scripting editor. We've got Toon Effects Maker URP, which is a framework for creating compositions and other things with a library of over 200 effects, which allows you to customize all these parameters to suit the needs that you need. Next one is the SimCade Vehicle Physics, which is a quick way to set up vehicle physics to be able to drive under one minute. You can fine tune everything and it's suitable for games based on things like Grand Theft Auto, Need for Speed, has full functionality and code and you can modify thousands of parameters that you need. We've got one called Now We're Talking and this allows you to have automatic animated mouth movements for low poly characters, all in real time synchronized to voice clips. So you literally add the prefab, add the lips pivot, add the voice clip and away you go. Next one is something called the File Transfer Server. So it's a lightweight plugin that allows your game or application to send and receive using UDP connections. Next one is something called the Leaning Animator. So a lot of animations look quite stiff and rigid, but this allows you to add that bend or that leaning algorithm to spine bones and arms to create a more dynamic look for your characters. The next one is the Editor Enhancers Bundle, with including hierarchy adjustments, folders, tabs, favorites, rulers, and a load of cool tools for the Inspector too. We've got the Loading Screen Bundle, which is a smooth way to create loading screens within a few seconds, so you can easily create them with presets or loads of customization with spinners, hint systems, virtual loading, background transitions, so much in here. We've got the Turn-Based Toolkit 3. It's capable for mobile and other platforms, and it's a toolkit designed with custom models and art assets that you can integrate to make your own turn-based style combat. The next one is the Dynamic Mesh Combiner, which is a powerful tool to seamlessly combine all skinned and regular meshes and renderers. And this Dynamic Combiner optimizes all performance across all 3D models to even support VR projects. Next one is the 2D Soft Body to Simulate Jelly. If you want to make things wobble, it's got high performance across all devices, works across all pipelines. We've got Easy Character Control and Movement, which is a rich and high performance character controller. It's got variable jump height, features like crouch support to move and rotate, to slide, solid root motion support, and configurable for ledges and other features. And the last one on here is called Easy Cloud, which is a complete solution for cloud saving with authentication, cloud save and loading, and full storage. And across all pipelines, including the web, so do be sure to check out all these assets because there's yet another incredible bundle which a lot of assets I haven't seen before and they're really, really useful tools. So do be sure to check out all the links below and I'll put them down there. Do let me know which is your favourite and check out my Patreon too to get access to over 205 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And do be sure to check out all my assets on the Unity Asset Store and on my website for massive, massive discounts. So big thanks to all my patrons, massive thank you to Peter Steiner and everybody else who comes to watch the video. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.